Hello, hello everybody, it's your boy Prof Drop and we're back again on a video. This is also suggested on the Discord. I was like, what the hell is this? This is the time Gordon Ramsay destroyed the vegan teacher. A vegan teacher versus Gordon Ramsay. Let's go. The back and forth between Gordon Ramsay and the vegan teacher was one of the funniest beefs in internet history and it all began on the 20th of January 2021. Firstly, we need to set the stage for the okay, two contenders the within this conflict. Set. In the red corner, there was Gordon Ramsay, who not only holds the title of the world's most- Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, that is, that, that, that's a bit cursed. Gordon Ramsay animated like that, that that's a bit cursed. Famous chef, Jesus. but also ranks in third place amongst the world's richest chefs with a net Damn. worth of $220 million. Damn. His restaurants boast a total of 16 Michelin stars and are so iconic that in 2006, the Queen of England awarded Gordon Ramsay the highest excellence order of the British Empire for the positive impact he had made on the- I mean, that's a British reward, so I guess like negatives and positive. It's a reward. But it's a brief reward. Country's hospitality industry. His blunt confrontational branding is incredibly yeah, distinguished and recognizable. Yet Gordon also has the ability to keep sandwich. the content lighthearted and comedic yep. whenever necessary, which works excellently on his TikTok page with over God 33 damn. million followers. The TikTok page rarely promotes anything serious, with his videos usually doing nothing more than laughing at the cooking done by other TikTokers. What, what are you is? doing, flouring a filet mignon, you donut? Oh no, no. you're not covering a filet mignon with fruity pebbles. No, that's right. no. No, 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 come on, dude. I'm gonna fryer. kick your butt. Take it out. Take it yeah, out? Yeah, yeah throw it in the trash. Oh. No. That looks disgusting. Oh, look at it. Cut it's it white in the middle. It's cold. overcooked. Perfect medium rare. Perfect medium rare. Don't Don't specs it. What's that? that? Marshmallow. Marshmallow. Sauce, baby. <laughs> As a whole, Gordon Ramsay is up there amongst the most respected celebrities of all. What the hell did we just witness? Time, whilst oh, our other God. contender in the blue corner, that vegan teacher, is down that there amongst vegan. the least respected celebrities of oh. all time. She started her social media journey back in early 2020, and as mentioned in the previous video discussing Mr. Beast, her goal is to mischaracterize the most beloved influencers by framing them in any way possible as terrible anti vegans who are trying to destroy the world by eating anti vegans. Mate, oh, you're just God. so happy that Mr. Beast bought a a whole store full of food and donated to the poor, right? What did that include? Innocent chickens who were murdered. The whole thing is wrong. Nothing. Hey, bro, those innocent chickens taste good, though. That he did in that equation was good. Her achievements include being banned well, from TikTok. Nothing he did was good. Besides feeding the poor. Numerous times, uh -huh. having an average okay. channel dislike ratio oh. of well over well. 50%, as well as- o Thanks to YouTube, we can't see that anymore, right? Winning the largest vegan documentary DVD collection in the Northern Hemisphere. Almost all of her growth has come from commentary channels talking about how terrible her takes are on topics relating ah. to food. Vegan teacher, I think you have this problem of just not really realizing that nobody is going to ever really care about your message that you're trying to deliver. And from the get-go, it's obvious that the vegan teacher had absolutely no authority in comparison to Gordon Ramsay. However, with Gordon being one of the most distinguished chefs in the entire world and the vegan teacher always looking for someone to call out, she'd begin the conflict on TikTok with a video explaining to Gordon Ramsay that animals weren't food from her perspective. So Gordon, what are the- Oh, that's the important note, right? From her perspective. Does anybody care about her perspective? Problems that though? I noticed that you have is you don't seem to understand the difference between food and animals. Food. Animals are sentient beings like us. They don't want to die. They want to live. Hey, listen. They shouldn't taste that good though. It's that's something the that problem. you get out of the ground or you take it from a tree. And it's something that's very healthy for us to eat. Animals are alive. Chickens and not cows, anymore. sheep. These things are not actually foods. Now to well, give the vegan teacher credit where credit is due, that. her argument here wasn't all that terrible. She presented it in a persuasive, logical, non-forceful way using points that could be understood by anybody. The idea that if there's food on the trees and in the ground, then maybe it's best not to eat animals Wait, is a pretty appealing. Wasn't there some research that said that even like uh trees and stuff can feel pain and stuff i don't know there was something about that. i remember reading something like idea that. when you take it as a I basic surface level about. argument however from this point onwards it will become apparent that this was pretty much the only this appealing still... logical argument she'd make as her disdain for gordon ramsay seemed to grow and that. her attacks became increasingly dumber and dumber this can be observed in the next video she'd upload on Algorazzi's him being a 27 minute like long video which began kind. by describing gordon ramsay as the following today we're going to talk about the devil the devil's the name devil. is gordon ramsay a devil is defined as a creature 
teacher that does nothing but harm in the world. How many devils are there? The vegan teacher's justification for Gordon Ramsay being the devil was that he was paying to make himself look good on camera. When you have a lot of money, you can pay people to film you in whatever light that you want and make your life seem like one giant trip to Disneyland. Yet apparently Gordon wasn't only the devil, but was also a psychopath as he was not able to empathize with the meat he was cooking. He's a kind of psychopath. Who How are you supposed to empathize with the meat that you are cooking? really cannot see so into the eyes them? of an animal and see them as sentient beings. Maybe he truly is disconnected. The stupidity of the video was instantly reflected in the comments with the top three being Stan Gordon Ramsay, the king, the legend, the god. Gordon, Stan. don't listen to her. I love Gordon Ramsay's savage remarks and his food, as well as Gordon Ramsay is the best person ever since Jesus Christ okay, himself. Well, hey, listen, maybe, maybe we're taking it a little bit too far with that last one. However, despite the backlash and support for Gordon, under the uh. assumption that he would never respond. The vegan teacher doubled down on the criticism by uploading another video stating that Why Gordon Ramsay was a terrible, terrible. father oh, because okay. he did the. T hey, uh, what does that have to do with veganism? TikTok egg challenge with his daughter. Why is Gordon Ramsay such a terrible father? Why does he teach his children speciesism, which is the purest form of racism? Species speciesism. Which was accompanied by a Gordon Ramsay diss track titled Why Are You a Vegan Phobic? A vegan phobic animal bully. Wow big animal bully. However, while this diss track failed to grab the celebrity chef's attention, it would be with one song on TikTok shortly thereafter that the vegan teacher would finally be noticed by Gordon Ramsay. Eating animals is wrong, Gordon Ramsay. Hurting animals is wrong, Gordon Ramsay. Share this song. That fucking song is hurting me, bitch. Jesus. And if you call me a donut, that's fine. Vegan donut. Your the video captioned, beef Damn, burgers Gordon. were consumed while making this TikTok, showed Gordon Ramsay eating lettuce as if he was trying to appease the vegan teacher before spitting it out, the, calling her a vegan burger? donut and taking a bite Let's out of the juicy go. beef burger. As the Bro, comments began to roll, burger looked good though. then it was obvious Damn. that people loved Gordon's hilarious response. <laughs> My respect for Gordon Ramsay. Nice to meet you, you vegan donut. We've been waiting for this. Whilst countless news articles were written about the event vegan in favor donuts. of Gordon. The video response would go on to gain over 60 million views, Holy which was more than shit. the vegan teacher his total YouTube viewership combined. Damn. However, this was still only the beginning of the conflict. One thing that you have to respect the vegan teacher. Hey, listen, I don't think we can categorize this as a conflict for is that her tolerance to criticism is on a whole different level. Most creators pretend that they don't care about criticism, but the vegan teacher seems to be one of the very few who legitimately couldn't care less about what she people can't have read. to say about her. Despite being roasted by the entire world for a song about Gordon Ramsay, she'd brush it off as if it were nothing and upload another song as a response in which she'd claim that Gordon Ramsay's TikTok was laughing at Damn. the trillions that had died and that he was bullying the most innocent of animals Sweet just for fame. In addition to this, the vegan teacher would criticize Gordon's level of maturity his response was to eat an animal in front of me. Does that sound like the response of somebody who is in their 50s? A mature person? Before going on to compare his TikTok response as similar- I don't think she should be talking about maturity. Look at this woman. ...to World War II. Think back to World War II and what happened there. This- Whoa! <laughs> okay, how- I, I, I wanna hear this. How does this- This okay. man thinks it's okay for that to continue to- how is sentient beings which was concluded by the vegan teacher uploading another video in which she'd have a mental breakdown uh, over the did she just compare okay. response and you just said it was okay to keep doing it okay listen i think we need to pass a law that no woman above the age of 40 can run with that haircut okay hairstyle that's not a haircut Okay, that's Bobby come on. Like all of I think Force is good enough. She's a nurse. The now. vegan teacher snapping back at Gordon Ramsay gave enough substance for the commentary community to make their own videos on the drama, with uploads Oof. from Pancho, Jaden, and Bray all gaining pretty Pancho, substantial Jayden, view counts. The amount of exposure the beef was providing to Gordon Ramsay was observed in a forum post. The amount of exposure the beef 
That's not very vegan of you, brother. Post reading, I think it's clever marketing. <laughs> he made the obvious choice, siding against her. Short, easy to make a video employing a famous catchphrase of his, guaranteed to blow up and receive massive support. Now all of us, including me, are talking about the guy mostly in a positive light. He's built on his reputation of being rude, funny, honest, and relevant without generating too much personal controversy. He handled the matter incredibly well. While Gordon Ramsay was without a doubt the clear favorite within the conflict, it's not like the vegan teacher wasn't getting any benefit from it. In the month that Gordon responded via TikTok, the vegan teacher's YouTube viewership would increase from less than 200,000 views per month to well over 2.5 million Damn. views per month. And with the vegan teacher observing how much Looks traffic like this first response up. provided, she began to fish for another by uploading more videos critical of Gordon Ramsay. She'd claim that Gordon Ramsay should be in jail while sporting some fresh new- In jail for what? Cooking? I'm pretty sure- You'd need to jail like 99% of the population if that happened. Gordon Ramsay is an animal abuser merch, which was followed by another video in which the vegan wow. teacher would try and make Gordon lose one of his sponsors. Hello, Silk Milk. Apparently you're paying money to Gordon Ramsay to promote your product. How crazy is that? Don't be doing that. He doesn't care about your milk. He's not even vegan. Why would you want him to promote this wonderful product that I drink myself every day? Now I'm sure Gordon Ramsay could have yet- Really, that's the way we're going for this. He's not vegan, so he cannot. Everything on the vegan shelf is off limits to him. Again, annihilated the vegan teacher really? by mocking her outlook on life Wait, in another, another TikTok. One? Yet his next response was actually a little more elegant and wholesome. As a result okay. of his first response to the vegan teacher, countless farmers created okay, their- Gordon Ramsay looks a bit different now. Their own TikToks, thanking Gordon Ramsay for sticking up for the meat industry, stating that people similar to the vegan teacher had interrupted their daily life and even sent them death threats as a result of being wow. farmers. Gordon would Wait, take a bunch that's of- That's not very pro-life of them. His clips before compiling and uploading Loading them as a compilation video with a caption reading, always standing behind farmers, grateful for the work they do and passion they have on a daily basis. Hashtag every chef needs a farmer. This video would once again go viral amassing 30 million views with almost every single comment stating something positive, yet this only nice. seemed to give the vegan teacher another opportunity to respond. She'd upload a new video titled Gordon Ramsay Stop Encouraging People to Steal in which she addressed the second response. In this video that 19.5 million people saw. These are some farmers who are saying thank you to Gordon Ramsay. The gentleman at the beginning, he is saying thank you to Gordon Ramsay because he's saying, you know, we really appreciate that you are giving us the green light to keep hurting these innocent cows. Before stating that she had started to address each of the farmers individually. I took oh, two God. of these farmers and I made videos de dedicated towards them. I didn't have time yet to do all of them. At this point, Gordon Ramsay thank likely realized that. that giving the vegan teacher any extra yeah, attention a was a yeah. lost cause as there will be no more responses from him his end. Yet the damage had already been done. It was stated by the vegan teacher in a okay, YouTube it's... video that her only goal was to get the world's attention. On TikTok, I do whatever I can to get the world's attention. You gotta do a song and a dance and be crazy and do whatever it takes to get people's attention. I think you have the last part down pretty well. And then when the attention is there, then you maybe have the chance to get them a little tiny bit interested in what you're saying of that sub substance. And this Listen, I am all down for promoting veganism. I am probably never going to do that, right? But I might, you know, change a little bit of my diet to include some of that. But this is not the way, brother. This is like the people that stand in the street when people are trying to go to work, shouting some random shit. Listen, those people don't care for your message. They want to run you over. The only reason they're not doing it is because it's legal. Okay, this is not the way to, you know, do your share your message. This is like the the worst way. You gain people to hate what you stand for because they hate you. When they hear vegans, they imagine you and they hate it. This is this is a very stupid way to represent something that you like. Okay, at least that's my opinion. This is exactly what I she managed to do. Agree, but... The vegan teacher achieved a certain level of notoriety and became widely talked about, largely due to a video mentioning Ramsay. Gordon got 90 million views out of it. The vegan teacher got an online career out of it. So maybe it was simply a win-win for both individuals. Wow. Well, it definitely wasn't a win for us. Jesus Christ. God. Okay, well, I hope y'all enjoy this. Let me know what y'all think about uh, vegan people and that vegan person uh, in the comments. Uh, okay, well, quick thank you to the YouTube members and Patreons. Thank y'all for the support. Have a nice day, everybody. Bye-bye. Jesus Christ.